Moody Vegan by Mars is the first vegan alternative chocolate bar with the same great taste as a regular chocolate bar. It is dairy and gluten free and the perfect substitute for Mars lovers who seek a healthier and guilt free alternative with the same great taste. With veganism growing increasingly popular all over the world, it is a great opportunity for Mars to capitalise and cater to the needs of this growing consumer base. The market for vegan products is 310 million and 3% of consumers are now vegan, which is increasing at a dramatic rate. Demographic segmentation shows the gender to be both male and female aged between 18 to 32. These will be predominantly millennials as they will be the largest consumers of the product according to Marketing Week that states a third of vegans in the UK are millennials. Geographically the consumers will be based in all major cities over the UK and the UK is a perfect place to launch our product as they launched more vegan products than any other nation in 2008. The psychographic segmentation has identified the consumer to be involved in such activities as gym, yoga and cycling. Their interest to be healthy uh, and environment. Finally, their opinions will be to seek a sustainable environment, health is wealth and having intention to save animals. The reason why I've chosen these as the targeted consumers is because they have the most in common with Moody Vegan Bars and are most able to relate to the core values of the brand. The first customer persona created is Becca Lee, a female aged 28 uh, postgrad student. She is well educated, socially aware and chose to be vegan for health benefits. She does yoga and is willing to spend more on food and her goals are sustainable living but she is frustrated by finding vegan products on shelves. She is active on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram which is the best place for us to engage with her on social media platforms. She also reads magazines and healthy food blogs which are other channels we could engage with her. The second consumer persona is John Doe, a male 20 year old undergrad. He loves chocolate but is aware of what he eats. He is healthy and promotes sustainable living. Instagram and Snapchat are the best platforms for him to be communicated to and he follows influencers so an endorsement from an influencer he likes would also be a good way to reach him. For our smart objectives, our first is to sell half a million moody vegan chocolate bars and generate a revenue of 600,000 in three months. Stimulating sales is important in order to gauge the response from consumers as well as being able to further invest in the brand itself. Generating this revenue is achievable through the use of various marketing techniques. Secondly, we'd like to create a unique online presence on Instagram and Twitter for Moody Vegan Chocolate Bars and gain a following of 800,000 followers within the first three months. Having an online presence on Instagram will help you advertise the brand to potential consumers and receive a high following through endorsement and promotion will also help to show the brand and its image. Thirdly, it would be to run a campaign on social media with the hashtag Ditch the Dairy by collaborating with like-minded influencers and gain 50,000 participants in one month. This campaign is important as it highlights the serious undertones of the dairy industry that we as a brand are trying to address. Portraying this to the consumer will help to emphasise the fact that we are very ethically sound. With regard to our messaging strategy, using the tagline Every Bite Matters is a strategic way of emphasising that the chocolate bar gives a feeling of contribution to the consumer and a feeling of inspiration. Giving the feelings and the emotions of the consumers is important as it creates a relationship that is not just based on the product but the brand itself. The tone of voice we use will be warm and reassuring. The chocolate bar itself is not only for vegans but for everybody who wants to enjoy the chocolate without feeling guilt and con contributing to the exploitation of animals within the industry. For, for our positioning map we have identified ourselves as mainstream and vegan. Mainstream will help us to reach a higher level of sales and is appropriate due to the intensive nature of the marketing and distribution of our product. Being vegan helps us to differentiate ourselves from our competitors and gives us a unique selling point and points of difference from other competing brands. A mock positioning statement has been made to highlight the brand values and direction. By showing this to the consumer shareholders and competitors, it invite, emphasizes the strong competitive voice the brand has. A social media campaign will be run using the hashtag Ditch the Dairy. This is to encourage consumers to think twice before purchasing their usual products and enjoy our product without fueling the gruesome exploitation of animals within the dairy farming industry. Running a campaign like this on Twitter is a cost-effective way of communicating the brand to a large audience and appealing to their emotional senses whilst doing it. The hashtag trending on Twitter would be great publicity for the brand and an example of earned media. Social media will be used in communicating our product as effectively and efficiently as possible to the identified target market. 
Three influencers will be used to endorse a product and communicate the product to as many potential consumers as possible. The three influencers chosen are all believed to be a perfect fit and representation for promoting the vegan bars and creating a buzz around the product itself. Firstly, Earthy Andy, a vegan food and lifestyle blogger who promotes healthy foods that is a perfect fit for the bar and what it stands for. With a following of 1.1 million and promoting vegan recipes as well as using mottos such as plant over processed, would it be an ideal way to promote the Moody Vegan Bar and create a high level of awareness? Deliciously Ella has a following of 1.5 million and has released cookbooks and prides herself on plant-based living. She is a healthy food and lifestyle influencer that also meets the criteria of the brand values and would be another great way of promoting the product to our audience. Her following is predominantly young males and females, which is ideal for communicating to these consumers through social media. Healthy Fitness Meals adds content about healthy products and, all f- and foods all over our social media feed. With a large following of 3.2 million and cookbooks released on vegan food would also further promote our product and give our communications a further reach. Billboards will also be used to promote the product as effectively as possible. With a huge amount of footfall going through both Shepherd's Bush and Piccadilly, exploiting the use of the billboards to show advertisements of the Moody Vegan Bar will open the product up to a new audience single, uh, that may have not been products. reached within you the social media the campaign. You can display- Furthermore, pop-up stores and shopping centres such as Westfields provides opportunity to further market the product to a larger audience. Providing tasters of the bar and highlighting the unique product will allow a level of product involvement and experience when engaging with our pop-up stores. This will increase the amount of recall the consumers have towards the brand and it will resonate with them well. Email marketing will be used in order to communicate with potential consumers on a continuous basis. It also keeps the consumers up to date with the latest news on the products and brand and allowing a more intensive relationship to be built with the consumers and the product. Another marketing channel that will be used is a TV commercial. We feel this will increase the reach of our marketing and also provide the opportunity to engage with the consumers within the advertisement by highlighting the motivations and benefits of the product and what we do as a brand and what we stand for. It will also create word of mouth if it is successfully implemented, allowing for more earned advertisement. Using an intensive marketing communications plan gives opportunity to penetrate the market effectively in order to gain as high a level of revenue as possible. The media scheduling used will be pulsing. This is due to the flexibility of us being able to choose when to schedule advertisements so they can run simultaneously to achieve a greater reach. It also reduces the cost comparatively to continuous and has more reach than flighting. Our budget has been made for the cost that will be incurred in order to deliver the marketing communications plan. Investing into the components that make up the budget will allow for the objectives of the campaign to be achieved. All the strategies mentioned prior will all assist in delivering a highly successful marketing campaign strategically orchestrated to meet the objectives.